In day two of our conversations at Cannon, we wanted to learn a little more about the base next door, its mission, its capabilities, and the work that's required day in and day out to uphold our national security. Located about 20 minutes outside downtown Clovis, Cannon Air Force Base is home to the 27th Special Operations Wing. Over 4,600 airmen are stationed there alongside their families and hundreds of civilian workers. It's one of only four active duty special operation wings with a focus on combat support, refueling mid-flight, close air support, tactical drones, direct deployment, special missions, and operating a very extensive and yes, expensive fleet of aircraft. Here we have the MC-130J, which is the, the J model is the latest variant of the C-130. And uh, uh, the C-130 is a platform that has served us well for a number of years, um, since the, the 50s really. Uh, but this latest version has some significant upgrades uh, with respect to um, how fast it can fly, how high it can fly, how much it can carry. This is largely a cargo and personnel transport uh, plane. Um, then we have the AC-130, which a lot of folks are familiar with. The uh, A stands for attack, and that's the one with the gun sticking out of the side. So it looks just like this one, but it's got a, uh, some munitions there. Um, and that's largely used for close air support. So when individuals are on the ground and they need some, some precision firepower, the AC-130 is uh, typically the preferred uh, platform of choice. Uh, we also have our MQ-9s, uh, remotely piloted aircraft. And I think what you'll see is, you know, this is a representation of the future as technology advances and as we get smarter about how we can employ our aircraft. Um, so we've got air, airmen here that are flying 24-7 uh, missions all around the world. They're doing it from here. And when it comes to preparation, the terrain out here is something similar you would see right. in the Middle East. Talk about that. That's right, yeah. Uh, not just the terrain, but the altitude, because um, there are certain considerations that you have to, uh, you know, uh, think about when you're flying airplanes uh, above sea level. Um, so, yeah, I'd say that the terrain, the, uh, the altitude, the, the, uh, the environment mimics some of the areas that we have been expected to operate in and some that we will be expected to operate in the future. Out on the South Plains in Lubbock, we see plenty of your aircraft flying above us. Should we be concerned of these training flights? What can you tell us about that? So usually when we hear airplanes fly over, we like to say that's the sound of freedom. So I would offer that, uh, that uh, when you hear those airplanes, uh, there shouldn't be a cause for concern, but you should, you should feel somewhat comforted in the sense that our folks are getting the training that they need.